capital is nothing but the investment that you are making to the business so for that investment you have to source the finance you have to get the finance from the other various form any competitive exams if you take up fm is a mandatory subject to clear that you need to understand what is fm is all about visit an organization in your town and collect data about financial objective what is their objective profit maximization or wealth maximization collect the information explore new things Hello everybody. I am your Divya Ma'am, lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, Mysuru, the Temple of Excellence. Today, I welcome you all for the session one on introduction. That is your Advanced Corporate Financial Management for Fifth Sem BBA. My dear students, FM subject is very important for you all. Moving forward. In today's class, we will be discussing about the syllabus. What is the marks that has been allotted for each unit? And we'll be discussing what is the course outcome and what is the skill development activities and what are the books for references. So, without wasting much of our time, let's move forward. So, this course outcome I'll be teaching you in the last. So, module number one you have is. cost of capital and capital structure theory so before that uh, let me give you a glimpse of what is fm is all about what is financial management is all about so this subject is from financial management so what is financial management finance is nothing but the money the investment that you are putting into the organization or to your firm and how to manage the finance you have to proper plan it execute it organize the amount and everything has to be put in a great manner because once the investment is done it cannot be revert back once you put in the money to certain projects the money what you get it takes time to recover to take up this decision we need to think in advance we need to act in advance for this purpose only we will be able to understand what is financial management is all about so finance is the life blood of every business so without finance no business cannot run its organization successfully so financial management we have planning organizing directing and controlling the financial resources in the organization so it is very important to take care of finance finance is very important so in this the main role has been placed by the finance manager so finance manager has to take up the better decisions regarding from where the capital that he has to take up from where the source of uh, capital has to be taken up and where the uh, taken up source has to be invested and after investing where he has to distribute how the whether he has to distribute it as a dividend or whether he has to retain the earning so all this discussions that we will be learning that we will be understanding in the upcoming classes so in today's class we'll just do syllabus overview what is the syllabus that has been there for you for this fifth semester bba and what is the modules that you have and what is the chapter wise weightage that has been given to you people so the main objective of finance management is what to earn the profit every business wants to earn the profit but the thinking have been changed now from profit maximization it has been shifted to wealth maximization what do you all mean by wealth maximization if you understand the shareholders if you satisfy the shareholders and stay holders they come back to our company and they invest it back so keeping this point in mind so we have the decisions to be taken up regarding finance so financial management is all about making decisions regarding what regarding the resource allocation so from where the investment to be taken that is called as sources from where they have to pull the money from where from which sources they have to take up the money after taking up the money from for where they have to invest in which project they have to invest whether to buy machinery or whether to buy the 
the furniture assets to the organization because once the money if it is invested it cannot be taken back keeping this point in mind after the investment where they have to uh, give it as a return okay so sources they have taken from the equity from preference and from debentures so what is capital capital is nothing but the investment so this capital from where we are getting we'll be having certain money but the additional money what we have to do to invest in certain company to invest in certain project what we need we need finance to to get that finance we need capital sources so that you will be studying in the chapter one that is theory of capital structure what is capital structure so we have different forms of sources we have different sources like debentures like equity preference share will be having lot of different sources from among the different sources what if we take if we take equity what is the cost that is associated with equity what is the cost that is associated with the preference shares if we raise funds from the preference shareholders we have to provide them the dividend so all these things what is the cost that is associated everything that will be studied in your chapter number one called cost of capital so capital means what capital is nothing but the investment that you are making to the business so for that investment you have to source the finance you have to get the finance from the other various forms one is the equity preference shares dividends or the equity shares preference shares and the debenture so these are the different forms and if you have saved something and that saving uh, is called as what retain earning so all these are what the sources of finance so that sources of finance what amount to be taken what proportion to be taken what is the debt equity ratio that we are using in our firm so that we can mitigate the risk we can reduce the risk and enhance the return financial management is all about what risk and return analysis so if you want to increase the return obviously the risk will be higher so higher the risk higher the return lower the risk lower the return so risk and return analysis can be done with the help of cost of capital so for getting that investment what is the cost that is associated what is the return that we are getting from that capital so that is called as cost of capital chapter so in this chapter we will be discussing about what are the different sources of capital we have and what is the structure we are formulating what is the capital structure whether we are using how many percent of equity how many percent of debt if debt is used we have to pay the interest if we take up the loan what we have to pay we have to pay the interest if a preference shares have been taken we have to preferentially give them the dividend they hold the right to take up the dividend first so equity what is the cost that is associated with equity equity shareholders are called as real owners of the company so after providing the dividend after paying the tax and after providing the preference holders the dividend everything whatever the leftover money will be there that will be given to that will be distributed to the equity shareholders so that what is the cost that is associated with each and everything will be discussed in the first unit that is your cost of capital and the capital structure so in this we got to know what are the different types of or the forms of capital we have we have preference we have equity shares we have debentures so once those money is into the firm what we have to do we have to invest it in a certain project so once if we invest in the certain project the returns is not certain the return will be over the few years the return will be over different years so to know that return what is the present value what is the risk associated with that where we have to invest which project we have to invest that everything we will be discussing in the second unit module 2 that is 
capital budgeting what is the risk associated now the sources have been your money is into our organization but where we have to invest it and that investment analysis is called as capital budgeting so what is that called as capital budgeting where the investment we have got whatever the money we have been sourced by the various sources that is equity share preference share and debentures that has to be invested in certain thing and the study of it is called as capital budgeting so in the next module we will be discussing about what is the risk analysis that we can do in capital budgeting so after capital budgeting investment is there will be getting the return from that return where we have to give back so whether to give it as a dividend or whether to give it as a keep the returns or the profit as a retained earnings whether we have to retain the earnings back or whether we have to give back the dividend and that is called as dividend decision what it is called as dividend decision so first thing whatever the investment we are planning whatever the thing of sources we are planning that is called as capital structure decision and the second thing amount what we have got and we are investing in certain projects and that is called as capital budgeting decision after the investment will definitely be getting the returns from that returns whether the profit to be retained in our organization for the next year investment or whether we have to distribute them as a dividend that decision is called as dividend decision the entire decisions has to be taken by a financial manager so that the organizational objective can be studied so in the unit 1 we will be looking after cost of capital what is the meaning of cost of capital and what are the different types of capital equity preference and debenture and next we have is retained earnings so what is the cost associated with that so for the, for taking up those resources what is the cost that is associated with what is the rate of return that we are getting for taking up those capital taking up those thing cost of debt cost of preference share cost of equity so this cost of equity is called as k subscript with e next cost of debenture cost of preference the overall cost is called as ko and that is called as weighted average cost of capital so this problem will be in your examination for 15 marks how many marks weighted average cost of capital problem 15 marks next we have theories of capital structure the net income approach the ni NOI approach we have traditional approach and MM hypothesis Modigliani Miller approach we have this problem as well though so this chapter consists 15 mark question 10 mark question and the theory part also come from this so this chapter if you study it is very very important you can easily pass in your examination because 15 mark one question and 10 mark one question it is 25 marks theory if you you'll get it will be around 30 marks so from this chapter itself if you study one unit so you can easily pass in your examination moving forward we have module number 2 as i've discussed capital budgeting in capital budgeting we have risk analysis risk means losses what are the losses that will incur in capital budgeting so we have to analyze those risks because we cannot eradicate the risk completely but we can minimize the risk so as i've told you fm is all about what risk and return analysis so in this we will be discussing about risk so what is risk risk means loss what kind of loss that will occur so if we use different project different strategy what will be the loss so usually risk will be risk analysis can be measured through standard deviation and covariance so using those statistical techniques we can analyze what is the risk that is associated with each project so risk analysis types of risk risk and uncertainty techniques of measuring the risk so we have different techniques that is there risk adjusted discount rate approach certainty equivalent approach probability approach we have standard deviation coefficient of variation so this problems that will be there in your examination usually you will get 10 marks from this chapter 
then marks plus theory. Next, we have module number three. As I have discussed, after the investment, you'll be getting the return. And from the, that return, whether to distribute the profit to the shareholders as a dividend or to retain the earnings. So that is dividend decision, theories of dividend decisions we have. So what are the uh, different theories we have? We have relevance approach and non-relevance approach. So relevance approach belong to what? Your Walter model is there theories of relevance approach Walter model has given a theory so that is relevance so whether the if you distribute the dividend what will be the impact on the firm so he has uh, given so that if you distribute the dividend the value of the firm increases if you give back the profit to the shareholders they will come and reinvest in your company so they come back to the company again invest the shares in the company so that that is relevance approach the other we have is irrelevance approach so that is modigliani Miller approach and we have the Gordon's model as well. So we have three theories altogether: Walter model and Gordon's model theories of relevance approach and one we have is traditional theory and Miller Modigliani approach so MM approach so in that we will be discussing about how what are the dividend decisions we can take up so 15 marks in this chapter 10 marks one problem in this chapter and the theory questions you can expect from this chapter. Moving forward, we have uh, module number four, mergers and acquisition. So in this chapter, we have meaning, reasons, types of combinations, types of mergers, motives and benefits of mergers. What is the benefit of mergers? How, what are the different types of uh, combinations we have everything we will be discussing in your module number four and the last module this is a new thing that has been introduced a new syllabus that has been introduced to your people because ethics has to be there in everything so especially where money is there where finance is there ethics should be there so what is the ethical issues that that has to be addressed that has to be learned by you people for that purpose they have put the chapter number call five that is your ethical and governance issues so introduction to ethical and government issues what are the fundamental ethical principles that they have to follow in finance what is the ethical issues we have to address in financial management in recent days? Agency relationship, a transaction cost theory, those two are theories of ethics. We have government structure, policy, social and environmental issues and purpose and content of an integrated report. So this is your syllabus. You have five modules. I have discussed regarding what is FM is all about, why we have to study all this to take up better decision because it is all about risk and return analysis. Higher the risk, higher the return. So always we want to minimize the risk and maximize the return. For this purpose, we have to study financial financial management advanced corporate financial management because this chapter if you study no it will be helpful for your uh, MBA as well MCOM as well if you go for post graduation of any degree FM is a mandatory subject if you take up uh, any competing exams like if you want to become a lecturer like me you have to clear case set and net examination for this also FM is important any corporate exams any competitive exams if you take up FM is a mandatory subject to clear that you need to understand what is fm is all about moving forward you have skill development activities prescribed by uom that is university of mysuru so in this what have they have given so this is just to enhance your practical knowledge with respect to your theoretical aspects so i'll be teaching theory but you have to learn yourself the practical aspects so for this only they have given the skill oriented activities so in this visit an organization in your town and collect data about financial objective what is their objective profit maximization or wealth maximization collect the information explore new things compute the specific cost and weighted average cost of capital of an organization you have visited so just do whack 
weighted average cost of capital. So do that. Case analysis of some live merger. So merger has happened recently. SBM with SBI. So your Bank of Baroda have taken over the Vijaya Bank. So just go visit the bank and collect few of the data and analyze what made them to merge or what made them to acquire the banks. You will get an idea about what is happening in the real market. Meet the finance manager of any company discuss the ethical issues in FM what is happening what is the ethical issues they are addressing because where money is there obviously there should be certain ethics so finance is very important to manage collect the data relating to dividend policies practiced by any of the two companies so we have interim dividend we have different types of dividends stable dividend policy we have different dividend policies are there so that div different dividend policies collect the information what policies they are formulating and why it is important for them to follow that policy so, that is very important and next is uh, any other activity which are relevant to the course any activities just form and develop your practical knowledge moving forward we have uh, internals for 30 marks unit 1 unit 2 internal 1 you have to read unit 3 that is for your internal 2 unit 4 and unit 5 that is internal 3 so the average of that will be taken for your internal assessment so that is for your 30 marks so this is regarding your internals next uh, question paper pattern so you know the pattern is now 60 and 40 so 60 marks you will be writing the paper so for that part a two mark question you have to answer five question that is for 10 mark okay and next for 20 mark you have to answer two question that is 10 mark each and next we have 15 mark that is your 15 marks question you have to answer 15 mark question 2 that is for your 30 marks i'll repeat the question paper pattern listen carefully so two mark question you have to answer five question five questions two mark for 10 mark next 10 mark question Two you have to answer that is for 20 mark and next we have 15 mark question two question you have to answer that is for 30 mark so total will be your 16 mark next we have minimum marks for passing that is your 21 so you have to take out of 60 21 mark in your written examination so if you take 21 in your written examination you can easily pass in the exam very easily you can score because fm is very easy advanced corporate fm have put to you people because to understand the concepts of fm books for reference so you can take up the screenshot we have i am pandey textbook khan and jane textbook so all these textbook you can refer so with the ashram notes if you study it is more sufficient for you people but for your uh, additional knowledge for enhancing your further knowledge in the subject fm you can follow the textbook i'll just move out of the screen you can take up the screenshot Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, hope the things were clear with you with regards to financial management. Thank you once again. Stay fit, stay healthy. Smile is the biggest jewel you can wear. So keep smiling people. Thank you.